Um, I feel like he, um, yeah, I, I feel like he fails to uh, um, analyze all the potential good counterpoints deliberately. Therefore, I don't like it. Okay, and else? Like, like his JFK video, guys, XQC. guys, his JFK video is, is pretty bad. The Vox video. Smile. Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press around 1440, but his you innovation you wasn't creating new technology. Anywhere. His also new machine combined existing print block technology from East Asia oh, wow. and mechanical devices first developed by the Romans for making wine and Boy, all of it. Like the Moreover, his innovation launched just as literacy rates were on the rise. Boy, hold on, Those let's, let's events ignited an unparalleled age of scientific discovery empowering people to share ideas and information farther and faster. Textbooks, newspapers, and even the internet have their roots in Gutenberg's printing press. But even he couldn't have imagined the legacy his inventions would leave, for better or worse. Today, businesses are primed for advancements in AI to improve how we work, live, learn, and connect. So what can society learn from the genesis of Gutenberg's press as AI makes its mark on the future? Like the Gutenberg press, AI is- Wait, is that an ad? It's such an ad. Oh, you meant this video you wanted to watch. For most of the history of the automobile, driving inevitably made noise. In the That's important. Combustion engine, yeah. air Did you know that making noise is important both for the driver and the pedestrians and the other drivers making noise in a car is very important Take fume exhaust vibration the combustion of fuel itself all made noise car makers spent decades trying to reduce that noise but could never really eliminate it and then one day driving didn't need to make much sound at all electric vehicles are quiet electric vehicles are quiet what does an electric motor sound like the problem is, the world we built around the automobile relies on sound. For drivers expecting audible feedback. Culturally, we know that a car produces sound. And for pedestrians and cyclists listening for cars. That absence of sound could make it dangerous as well. We need our cars to make noise, or at least we expect them to. But that noise could be yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do the chat. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I think there was a problem with like the Rolls Royce or like that, but it was too quiet and they had to add like artificial noise. So what should it be? What was that? Was in the car? Twenty-eight months away. On the inside, yeah. Starting in 2019, regulators in the European Union and the U.S. started requiring EVs and hybrids to place sound while they're in use from hidden speakers called an acoustic vehicle alerting system. Oh, like a whistle. Uh. There are different standards around the world setting the rules for those sounds. And while they don't dictate exactly what the sounds should be, they each basically work by a common set of rules that sound designers have to follow. You can get creative, but not that creative, I guess. The first parameter is sound pressure or volume. It's interesting. I like it. I like learning about the world. Reach minimum decibel levels. Gulp 24. This makes sure people can hear the vehicle without it being too disruptive. That volume has to increase as the vehicle goes faster until at speeds over 30 kilometers per hour, the noise of tires on pavement and wind against the car body become louder than the AVAS and the AVAS can slowly fade out. As vehicle speed changes, there are also regulations for the AVAS to shift in pitch, Acoustic higher black. pitch as the vehicle speeds up, and lower pitch as it slows down. Chat, chat. This makes sure. Watch out when you reverse the car. It has a. Why is that? I have an idea of a vehicle speed just by hearing it. Finally, there are regulations on the sound's frequencies. The AVAS typically has to hit minimum volume levels at both high and low frequencies. Our high frequencies hearing. so that the AVAS can cut through low frequency background noise, and low frequencies so it can cut through high frequency background noise. This one is the really the killer one for us as a sound designers, but it also becomes very hard then to come up with a design that is actually pleasant, like that actually sounds Nice. And that's the challenge. Oh, straight to make something gears. within those parameters that isn't too quiet. Normal gears are helical, but reverse gears are straight cut. What's why does that? 
but isn't too annoying. It's very easy to be alarming, but having a good sound quality and not annoying at the same time, that's very difficult. So what Avast sound designers typically design is a short, perfectly looping sample. that can play faster or slower depending on vehicle speed. But a simple linear increase doesn't match the dynamic sounds we're used to hearing in combustion vehicles. A simple pitching loop, it's very predictable. It sounds very linear, it sounds very, uh, you know, uninteresting, it sounds very artificial. It's, uh, it's like when you have an LP player, for example, and you spin it faster, for example. When you pitch it too fast, it sounds weird, it sounds artificial. To keep the AVAS from sounding linear, designers will layer on additional samples, filters, and Jeez, modulations triggered by certain driving conditions, like full throttle acceleration. And those samples can be made of anything, from instruments. Didgeridoo. For Cadillac, we have been able to use this ancient Australian instrument. To entire orchestras. So this is quite literally the score of a driving sound. And they can even be inspired by combustion engines. There's a name for that last one, skeuomorphism, where a design resembles its real-world counterpart. Like early electric lights that mimicked the candles that came before them, or early mobile apps that mimicked the look of the objects they replaced, oh. as a way to transition into a new era of technology. There's this patent from the very early I'm 1900s. Let's put half of horse on the front of the vehicle. That makes make sense! Because like that's what the people are, are, are used to. Electric vehicles don't need to make noise, but they do need to bridge the gap from cars that do to a future that sounds different. And that's what these designers it has are to adapt. With. What should that transition sound like? In a world of gaming, you'll see a champion known as XQC. For most of Okay, here it comes. Yo, this is X. X on yeah. the beat, yo. Okay. Why you hear my voice as well? That S. Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy. Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy. Okay, that was pretty good. Cool.